Hey, Chris here with part number 10 of the Bosch tutorial series. So in this video, I'll show you how we can make the HA proxy server in our Nginx deployment highly available, even higher available than what Bosch gives us. So in the last video, I'll show you how Bosch helps us creating high available services. Um, but you might have noticed that if you have only one instance of a particular service, then the availability isn't that good uh, because Bosch still takes up to a few minutes to recover a virtual machine whenever it dies. Um, so if you require more uptime than that, you might want to consider clustering your services. So it's a proxy is a nice example and it gives me an opportunity to show you how we can build our deployment manifest just by looking at the source code of the Bosch release. So let's dive right in. Let's take a look at the manifest we have so far. So far we have an nginx manifest with one HA proxy instance group and an nginx instance group. And the HA proxy instance group is just one single virtual machine. So if we want to make this high available, very first thing we need to do is, well, add another instance. So now we have two. So if we deploy this manifest, we'll get two HA proxy instances. But that doesn't really make it highly available because it will be two separate instances we could do something with, um, with DNS, like DNS round robin, and then only half the request will fail if HF proxy is offline. Um, but we really want to get the highest availability we can get. So we need some kind of clustering software inside HF proxy. So I'll show how to do that in a minute. First, let's take a look at the GitHub repository of the HF proxy Bosch release. So this is the GitHub repo of the HF proxy release. And there are several directories in here. I won't go through all of them right now. Um, I'll save that for a later video. Um, what's most important right now is the jobs folder. In each Bosch release, there is a jobs folder. So you will always find this. And in jobs folder, there is another folder for each job inside this release. So right away, we see this has two jobs uh, specified, HFProxy and KeepAlive-D. Now, KeepAlive-D is basically Linux clustering software. So that's very interesting for this video. We'll take a look at that, KeepAlive-D. And then in each of those folders, you'll find templates, monit, and spec. We'll mention those in another video. Right now, I want to take a look at spec. Because the spec file defines um, how the job works, basically. It defines the name. It defines which packages it uses, templates, etc etc and what is particularly interesting for this video are the properties so what we've learned so far is that in the HA proxy Bosch release there are two jobs one called HA proxy and the other one called keep alive D the HA proxy one we're already using because we deployed the HA proxy job inside our nginx deployment the other one is keep alive D and we can just add that to our deployment if we want to so let's copy this name move back to our manifest and then we'll add it to the job list so you see here in the HA proxy instance group we have a job list and currently has just one job it's called HA proxy and we'll add another one so name will be keep alive D and it comes from the release HA proxy proxy just like that so by just adding this we are also deploying the keep life D job on this instance group on this virtual machine or set of virtual machines rather and then we also need to specify some properties so let's move back to the spec file and take a look at the properties so these are all the properties that we can use for this particular job uh, the first one is a vip so that is for a virtual ip um, it tells us in the description virtual ip v4 address that will be given to the master so this will be the ip address uh, on which the hsa proxy will be reachable and then KeepAlive-D will monitor uh, both nodes that are running KeepAlive-D and if one of them fails, the virtual IP will move over to the one that's still alive. So that's what we want, right? Then for the other properties, um, we see a health check name, health check command, etc., etc. But all of those specify a default. So we have default check HA proxy, here's a default, here's a default, and here's a default. So, so we don't really need to specify any of those properties in our manifest. Only the one without the default we need to specify 
The other ones we can just ignore for now, unless we, may, we want to make changes to the default. So keep alive the dot VIP. Let's add, let's add that to our manifest. We do that like this properties and then keep alive D and then this was called VIP and then here we need to specify an IP address which we want to use as the virtual IP. Now this needs to be a virtual IP address that's outside the range of what we are using inside Bosch. So Bosch is not aware of this IP. To Bosch this is just another property. So it's not aware this is an IP so it won't reserve this IP in its own list. And therefore it needs to be an IP that's outside the range that Bosch can use for deploying new machines. Uh, in my case that's 200. And I can show you that currently there's nothing responding to that IP address. So let's do a ping. And nothing is responding. And let's try opening it up in the browser. And that's not connecting. So this proves nothing is there. So let's move back to the manifest. This is the IP that Edge Proxy will be available on after I run this deployment. So let's save this file. Move to the console and run the deployment again. All right, we'll add all this. And now it will go ahead and create a new virtual machine. It will install HA proxy on that. It will install keep life D on that. And then it will also update the existing HA proxy machine. It will add keep life D basically. So let's wait for that to be finished. And then I'll show you that it actually works. And finished. So let's take a look at what Bosch created for us. Let's list the VMs in this deployment. So now we have four. We have two HR proxy VMs, one Nginx. And as you can see, IP addresses start at 201, 202, 3 and 4. Um, and it's not aware of the 200 address uh, we just added. But still, it's in use by HR proxy and it should be reachable by now. we go it's reachable and let's go to the browser and there it is it's serving the nginx pages through an high available ha proxy cool right so to recap this in some cases or actually in a lot of cases um, you want a little bit more availability than what Bosch can provide um, you want your servers really to be up and running all the time and you can't have a downtime of two to four minutes um, so in that case, you need other measures than just the Bosch high availability features for your application. What we also learned is how we can build our own deployment manifest by just looking at the source code of the Bosch release. And especially by looking at the jobs folder and taking a look at the spec file, which tells us the exact name of the job we need to include in our manifest. And it specified all the properties we can actually set in our deployment manifest. That was it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, find me on Twitter or leave a comment down below. Please consider subscribing and click like if you like this content. Again, thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.